What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into casting that upset fans trolling. I don't know. It's my good sis voice. Let's get into it. That was upset because during a charity soccer game, someone was holding up a sign that says, we're friends though, which is now a famous line said by singer <laughs> Tyler when Kai Sinet asked her out on the stream. Here's what Kai Sinet did when he saw the sign. Guys. <laughs> but we just friends though <laughs> oh, oh oh crashing out he's crashing out he ripped the sign he crashed all the way out And also during the charity soccer game between AMP and Beta Squad, fans decided to run out onto the field when the score was six to six because they wanted to take pictures and hug them, but they ended up having to run into the back quickly because there was so many people coming onto oh, the field no. at once. It was just crazy. Kai said that ended up going live, which I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute, but no one got hurt. Money was still raised for charity and it might possibly be a rematch that happens soon in the future. So stay tuned. <laughs> Them some tall boys. <laughs> Why y'all doing America like this? <laughs> These niggas like six nine <laughs> for that. Bro, Todd game? Really? Todd game. Top game. Todd game. How you, you love? Now? Yeah. Bro, you ain't telling you good. Nah. He ain't know what to say. Hey, look, bro. Y'all ruined it, bro. Ruined it. Look, bro, I missed three times. If y'all would never, like the fourth one was really coming. And if y'all would have never ran on this shit, I would have scored. I was, you would have scored three. I would have scored. You would have scored three. I would have scored three. And I literally scored six more after that. I probably would have got one. <laughs> I probably would have got one. Soccer. How much you would have scored? Uh, football and don't know what they doing. Uh, oh, uh, one. Fuck. <laughs> Sharky. Yo. I scored on you guys, bro. Say, say fucking hell. I fucking hell, you fucking one you I scored on you guys. Deep. I scored on you guys. Easy free kick. <laughs> fucking hell, eh? Right, you missed the penalty. Duke missed the sitter. Bro. bro. What the fuck? Bro. What is that? Y'all been watching Bridgerton for the past three days. I just want y'all to know my accent is down to a T. Okay? Thugs, bro. Dub, who recently just broke up with the mother of his child, Brittany, and he moved out, is asking for her to take him back. Hold on, just don't turn around yet. Fuck no. Why would you even ever think that that would be possible? What is you backpacking for? Shut up. Who are you? You got all this gold. If it was green, would you say yeah? No. Never. <laughs> it's never happened. What? We're not gonna be a trio. We're not gonna be in traffic in LA. <laughs> nah, I mean, we could be friends. We've been being cool, being co parents, but I'm Okay, okay, you know, I can't do that relationship. You know what I'm supposed to do? Figure it out. Why is it going to take this love? Get up. You just you get, gotta... up. get up. <laughs> get up. Go, go, get up. That's me. me, though. You can clean the stuff up. So, no. Corey yeah, allegedly no. just found out that another girl had his baby recently. Congratulations. Also, Corey just spent his birthday with his new boo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, post, my, I'm gonna post my baby on him. I ain't need to post my baby yet. You got another kid? Yeah, look. I saw that, but I was like, that's your kid? Yeah. He gotta be capping. He gotta be capping. No, nah, that ain't like how you said, yes. But granted, though, he is in the delivery room holding that would to be another man's baby if it's not. No, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like like when you say yeah like for sure like for sure like for sure he <laughs> said for sure congrats bro oh, <laughs> thank you Corey wasn't he it. just recording me man I've been single man, I've been single since October October last year you've been separated since October last year yeah I'm trying to fix things I, I tried to go back to peace right. I tried to be a man Family. and she dipped out on me and we got, let me talk got some to you let dicks. me talk to you we talk to you I'm cool. He did attempt to fix his family and do things the right way, as a man should, at the end of the day, because he's committed to this. But sometimes, people outgrow each other. Can they send you that in CPR? 
Act. Somebody said that here too. <laughs> you know, that laugh is crazy. You do, you do, you do kind of, you do kind of like, act. not really, but like just. Dearest I'm, 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 no, no. I'm not judging. That's not the one I'm picking. CJ So Cool dropped the video called Do I Love My Kids and a lot of people were shocked to see Lexi in the video. Not only because last month she said that she was done with him, but the fact that she had so many problems with his kids, people felt like she wasn't really supposed to be in a video like this of him speaking about his kids. But here's what CJ had to say. I don't know if you recall this, but I used to kind of be mean. I used to kind of be mean to the kids a lot. Um, not my kids, the other kids. Actually, Kamari too, Kamari was a part of it. When I used to have all those kids in the videos, it was almost like I was Joe Jackson sometimes. I had to be strict, right? And Lexi just bought my camera. Um, no, I, didn't bump it. Uh, I had to be strict, right? And I didn't want to be strict because that's not really who I am. I'm the fun person, the good guy. I'm the guy that's going to buy you what you want, take you where you want to go. And a lot of people don't like me for that. CJ, you don't know how to be a parent. You just buy them what they want. You suck. I understand that too. But trick there. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, when I wasn't doing that, when I was trying to be Joe Jackson, everybody was hating me anyway. And every time I made a slip up, it ended up on internet. So, I mean, it always just, it's never enough. So I understand that everybody just don't think different and see everything differently. I, I get it. That's not core, baby, bro. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, that'd be wild for him to go to another woman's birth. And not that he can't hold the baby, but ain't too many people letting you hold their child out straight out the cooch. You know what I'm saying? There's not even too many grandmas holding the baby straight out the cooch. So maybe that baby just might be his. But if I was Carmen, I would simply file for a divorce, take him for a everything he has because it's not a prenup involved at all actually i don't need all your money but i'm definitely gonna get my my due <laughs> you get what i'm saying i'm for sure gonna get my due um yes that's what i would do and i would get the living okay hell out of that marriage and here y'all on the other side when y'all go get married you should get married y'all should really get let people take their time to handle their business. Y'all don't know what's going on behind these, uh, after these eight minutes on these videos. So, if I was Carmen, I would go ahead and file that quick little divorce, get my little bag right quick. I mean, even if she just get a little quarter of the, of the bread, she would be able to do something to take care of her children and start something else. You get what I'm saying? Um... And that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.